This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. A new year, but the same mission to help those in need in our area. Hola friends and welcome to your trifecta of local information on the air, online and on the Samsung Productions app. My name is Ken Kerr and these are your headlines from SSP TV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Be a giver, that's the message from the United Way of Greater Hazleton. The organization and its 24 member agencies launched its 2018-19 campaign yesterday. Hazleton Police Chief Jerry Speziali told the crowd that when he thinks of the United Way, he thinks of the way it brings people together and turns lives around for those in need. The highlight at yesterday's kickoff was a $10,000 check presentation from All One Charities. We'll have more on the campaign next week on SSP TV News. It's been a dream for 35 years, and now this weekend, you're invited to the grand opening of the BCI Training Center and Retail Store. The new facility is an extension of the Bradley Codwell Wholesale Division. The building had housed the former Nathan's Furniture Store on Route 93 by the Laurel Mall. Jim Bradley is the company's president and CEO. We've been open about six weeks. Uh, is a soft opening, just making sure that everything uh, was working. Uh, it's an extension of our wholesale facility because we actually sell all over the Northeast uh, to retailers, but we're turning this into a training center slash retail store. All right, so now the grand opening is on October 6th and 7th. Kind of tell me what's going to be going on during those days. Uh, there will be Saturday and Sunday. Uh, there will be vendors here talking about their products. We'll have some games. We'll have some discounts. Uh, some prizes, just kind of a fun two days, if you will. And now uh, tell me kind of about the store a little bit. What does it have to offer? What do you guys sell, that type of stuff? What we have in here is uh, a little bit of everything, if you will. We do a lot in the pet uh, side of it. So we have stuff for dogs, cats, reptiles, uh, caged birds, also uh, aquariums. Then we have wild bird stuff. We have an entire lawn and garden facility. Uh, farm and home, we have things for equine, so we've got a fairly rounded, if you're uh, in the country or in, in an urban area, we can, we can handle it. The grand opening celebration is this Saturday from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. and Sunday from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. You're invited to three days of fun at the Eagle Rock Resort. Janine LaSant is here with more. Hey guys, back here at Eagle Rock Resort where we're informing you about a fall festival that is open to the public. And I'm with Pam Burke and she's going to talk about some of the events that are happening with entertainment. It gets bigger and bigger each and every year and you guys have awesome local artists coming here, right? Correct. Um, we also have some wonderful food trucks coming, so Ooh. come hungry. Okay. This way the moms don't have to cook. I love that. And okay. Dads will be buying. <laughs> But yeah, we have food trucks from all over the area. Um, samplings are just like some tacos, pierogies, mm. uh, beef brisket. Um, so come, come uh, hungry. Come hungry. Yeah. Okay. What are some of uh, what are what are some of the uh, musicians that you have coming? Um, both Saturday and Sunday, we have local eclectic, energetic entertainer and singer Leilani Chisanis. Mm -hmm. Uh, Saturday afternoon, we'll have the Daisy Jug Band. Okay. Um, they play anything from country, bluegrass, rock, and folk. Uh, Saturday we will have uh, Flaxy Morgan and to round out Sunday afternoon we have upbeat tempo pop rock disco and funk band Toolshed Jack. So check us out again it's going to happen October 5th through 7th. Yeah. Again free admission come check us out here at Eagle Rock Resort. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. Here's your forecast from the National Weather Service. We have a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms this evening. It will be cloudy, low below of 48 degrees. Then on Friday, it's mostly sunny with a high in the mid-60s. At night for some Friday night football, mostly cloudy, low of 50 degrees. Nice night. Saturday, mostly cloudy, high of 62. Slight chance of showers Saturday night, 20% chance of precipitation, low of 56. Sunday, we're back up in the 70s with partly sunny skies, partly cloudy at night, low of 59. And then on Monday, partly Partly sunny with a high of 72. Monday night, mostly cloudy, low of 59 degrees. It's Thursday, so let's get some cross-country storylines on the SSP TV Standard Speaker scoreboard. The Shenandoah Valley and Weatherly Boys remain tied in Schuylkill League Division 1. Both teams are now 12-1. and 1. 
next week is it for the regular season and then it's the Schuylkill League meet at Tuscarora State Park. We'll talk with Shenandoah Valley's Brandon Stasuli who finished second at the Blue Devils meet next week on Community NEPA News. The Tamaqua girls swept their meet. They're a perfect 13-0 in Division 1 of the Schuylkill League. Francis Cabana won the race for the Lady Raiders. North Schuylkill is now 12-1. Corey McCormick was second at their meet for the Lady Spartans. Monoy area's Madison Quick was second and Monoy area swept their meet. Nicole Caparel won for Marion, but Tri-Valley beat the Phillies. They are 13-0 in Division 2 of the Schuylkill League. Marion is 11-2. It was a rough night for our local teams. Honesdale came back to beat Hazleton area in field hockey. The Lady Cougars were swept by Holy Redeemer in volleyball. Weatherly beat Shenandoah Valley in a match that went five sets in girls volleyball. Emily Demolis had 18 assists for the Lady Devils. And Penn State Brandywine swept Penn State Hazleton in women's volleyball. Nothing can warm your heart like Frankie's Cold Pizza. Call now to enter to win a box of 12 slices of Frankie's Cold Pizza with their signature sauce and cheese blend baked fresh with no preservatives. Call 570-459-9813, extension 104. We need your full name and phone number, and then we'll pick a winner at random. You can only win once every 30 days on SSP TV. Still to come, our in-depth weekly features this week will relive the glory days for some former high school softball players. And we take a walk through our area's past at, a ch at the Brainerd Church. Watch SSP TV in Pottsville on Comcast Channel 190 every day from 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. Now here's Thursday's social news. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. Penn State Hazleton will be having a community day on Sunday, October 7th from 12 noon until 4 p.m. There will be free Berkey Creamery ice cream, basketball and cheerleading clinics, cooking demonstrations, and so much more. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SSP TV News would like to send our sincere condolences to the family and friends of these who recently departed. Teresa M. Danachi of Sugarloaf Township. Mass will be Saturday at 10 a.m. at St. John Bosco Roman Catholic Church in Cunningham. Friends make off Friday from 5 to 7 p.m. at the Butler Chapel of the Crofton Hughes Funeral Home. James Patrick Jimmy Icorn of Whitehaven. Mass is Friday at 11 a.m. at St. Patrick's Church in Whitehaven. Friends make off Friday from 9 to 11 a.m. at the church. The Lehman Family Funeral Home in Whitehaven is in charge of arrangements. Wilfred M. Winky Lean Woods of Weatherly. Funeral will be Friday at 11 a.m. at the Philip J. Jeffries Funeral Home in Weatherly. Friends make off Friday from 9.30 to 11 a.m. at the Funeral Home. And Patrick A. Lutz of Collayers. Donations can be made to First Book or St. Jude's Children's Research. 